Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. Well, uh, although the market shrugged it off, the Chicago PMI was not very pretty yesterday. I didn't look at the manufacturing survey from the Dallas Fed. I uh, could do that now and see what it says. Uh, Texas is doing well. And we saw, well, like I mentioned about Chicago, not so well. See, they were expecting 59 and it was 55. But the market didn't seem to care. And for today, we have uh, the PMI Manufacturing Index. ISM manufacturing index and construction spending they'll be coming out today motor vehicle sales and there's no time on this uh, maybe it's out now let's see consensus no it's not out yet so we'll see what happens with that I don't know why there's no time on there all right, uh, let's take a look across the ponds in Asia. We're mixed. And in Europe, we are green across the board. Now, uh, a couple things here I wanted to point out. Profit warnings near record levels as first quarter results loom. Something to keep in mind as we move into the earnings season and look for earnings plays. And then I don't understand this. Um, it's sort of a stock split, and they're splitting it into Class A and Class C shares. I don't understand that. Um, the price is going to be halved, like uh, Igor last night, and we'll take a peek at that. But I just don't understand. I know that it's a power play, and it's, you know... Larry and Sergi want to main, maintain control because it is their baby. I don't understand that. You know, somebody or a group of people start a company and it's their company and then it gets taken over. You know, they go public and then it gets taken over by, uh, you know, maybe somebody with a so-called better business sense to run a larger company and they push the people out that started it. I just, I guess that's it. That's just the way business works. <laughs> Money talks. Money talks. But anyway, um, I, I, you know, I don't know which ticker symbol we're going to be using, or both. I'm not sure. I imagine they would track one to one. I don't know. I just don't understand it. Okay, um, but we'll see what happens because this is Wednesday. Yeah, probably after the market closed, closes. Don't remember seeing anything about that on the chart, so let's take a look at Google on a chart here. And I'm not seeing any indication of any sort of stock split here. So I, uh, I don't know if it's the price is going to be halved or not. I think it is. But I guess we'll just see what happens and look at this IV percentile here. We're at 85%. That's because, guess what? We have earnings coming up right on the edge of the screen here. We could go back over here and take a look at it here. We have some more padding with our dates here. So we're seeing earnings here. And that's why our IV percentile is so high. And this one could be fun to do an earnings play on. We'll be taking a look at that later. All right, uh, let's take a look at what's going on with the futures here. Oops, that's news. Okay, we're um, green across the board except for the Russell 2000 is down just a tad this morning. Uh, gold is still below the 1300 level at 1286 and Oil is at 101.29, still keeping itself above that $100 mark. Didn't do a dang thing yesterday. Was really ultra busy. 
again. Um, I think, though, well, I just need to get a handle on my time a little bit better in this new living situation that we've had here since last September that I haven't been able to get into a really good groove since we've been here. Uh, all right, so not much going on. This Google Calendar is not doing very well. Um, and they'll, they will adjust these prices too. Uh, if the stock price is going to be cut in half, then this all will be cut in half, too. And I think I'll end up with two. So we'll see how that one works out. Um, and the reason why the calendar is uh, not doing so hot is because... Let's go over to our A-plus list. I'll do a risk profile on this is because of the eh, weird numbers that are coming in right now <laughs> this shouldn't really look like this we should not be at maximum loss here so we'll have to wait the numbers need to come in they're just bad numbers right now bad data I think on the on the um, options chain that's all that's all the only explanation that I can think of right now because we're not really all that far off here okay so um, let's get going here we'll take a look at start right off with the A plus list taking a look at Apple All right, we have a little bit of a move up here towards our target uh, but we're still not really sure which way this thing is going to go. Another good one for an earnings play. Amazon. Uh, it's trying to get up to our target. I think it might just have kind of a hard time getting up there. We need some sort of pullback to give us an entry. And it's just not giving us one. This has been for over a week now. Boeing. Oh, this may end up being a successful trade. Uh, it's not the kind of trade. That's a 20 delta trade. Somebody asked about 20 delta, and I'll just go over this for you. Uh, 20 delta, if we were to do, and I'm not saying that we are going to, but if we were to do, say, a their call on Boeing we would come over here to the Delta column and we would look for something that has a 20 Delta and and we're just we're not seeing one right now let me see if there's one on Amazon okay here's one this one just happens to be right at 20 and that's the 347.50 strike so if we were to go ahead and sell a vertical on that we would collect 41 cents and we would have about two dollars or something like that at risk yeah we would have uh, two dollars and nine cents at risk or two hundred nine dollars and collect 41 so that's what we're talking about there if we went here and moved our okay probability date out to four or five which would be the expiration we then we would see that we have we take this little line here and drag it over to the break even we can see that we have a calculated almost 22 percent chance that this is going to end up in the money or a 78 percent chance that this is going to be successful so if we just went here and uh, delete this slice and delete, let's just delete another slice. And we can move this line right over here and we can see we have about almost a 79% probability of it expiring out of the money and a 21% probability that it will expire in the money 
So I hope that this uh, helps everybody. Um, even when you do this kind of trade, you still are looking for some sort of pullback that will give you a better chance. You know, you're in a downtrend. You need some sort of pullback. Like maybe early on this particular day here would have been a good time to get in. In retrospect, of course. But we're just looking for, they call it a flag. So this would be a, um, I forget if it's a bull or a bear flag, but it's a flag nonetheless. You have the flag pole here. And draw some lines on here. So we have this. This would be called the pole. Get rid of this. I don't, never mind. And then if you get a little bit of a pullback, then you would have what would effectively be a flag if I take this ray off. It's upside down, but it does, they call it a flag. So you have the flag pull, and then the flag, and then when you get another, start your next move down, then that's when you would get in with your bear call. All right, so enough about that. I'll have to look that up to see which flag is what. I don't know if it's making a bear move. Would you call this a bear flag? Or because it moves up, would you call it a bull flag? I forget. I forget which one it is, but it's a flag. Nonetheless, and that's how a flag is defined in uh, price patterns on a chart. Okay, we were looking at Boeing. It gets get back to our scan here. Um, Boeing, we have earnings coming up. Uh, here we have this it's sort of a flag, I guess you could say. Um, no, it's not really. It's just a standard pullback. Actually, we're back up to a recent resistance point. So this is another way to look at going in on like a 20 delta uh, credit spread to say, well, we have we have some resistance here over the last couple of weeks. Let's see if it breaks through that. If it doesn't, then it moves down. Then you would jump in with a bear call with a 20 delta. All right, let's go to Baidu. Not many, seen many CSSV2s. Baidu is trying to give us an entry here, moving up towards our target. And we hope it gets there, actually. This type of day is helpful where you get this big push up and that helps the stochastic to come up even though you ended up with a red candle, but it did open higher and close higher than the previous day. So that's still red because it's down for the day, but at least it's moving up towards our target. Sell gene. I'm going to take this off of here. We all know that it's headed down. Um, here, you know, we got a flag pull going here for 20 delta. We don't have anything setting up on CSSV2, so we're just going to be patient on that. Chipotle. Uh, we got a nice hook here. Uh, we had an alert set yesterday, and it didn't come through for us. Do we have another day? One. There's one day. Oops, quit moving on me. One day, two days, this is three days now. Uh, we don't want to get in on this, so we're going to cancel this. I'm going to leave this up here as a reminder, but should it trigger, I'm not going to get in. I want to see what happens here, and we'll review it tomorrow. IV percentile 96, I have earnings coming up. Oh, man, earnings season just kind of excites me if I'm planning on doing some earnings plays. All right, let's get rid of that. Uh, Costco, a big slide down. Where it looks like we might be moving up into our target area. Dang, furnace went on. I was hoping I could get this done before that. 
All right, we're in a CVX calendar. CVX is not cooperating in the least. Looks like we're into a new uptrend. Um, and I may get out of that calendar early. I'm going to make a note of that. All right. Um, so we have a target set down here anticipating this new trend we're counting this as a nice cycle full cycle up and then a cycle down or a half cycle up and then a, a half cycle down which would give us a full cycle and an entry I might be kind of stretching that but uh, DIA just looking at the indexes don't usually trade this particular one we are like a pancake here and so is the stochastic. So, you know, could you do uh, Aaron Condor on DA? I suppose you could. But I'm not into that at this time. Here we have Igor. Igor had a stock split when the market closed last night. So we are sitting at 98, 08 and a half. Not sure. Um, well, it's going to show up on a chart here, and it's going to look kind of strange. I think they correct all the prices back so that it doesn't really mess anything up too bad. But like we said, we're staying away from this thing. All right, FedEx. FedEx, I still have this long put sitting here, down here at... Uh, a long put at 120 which is way down here is it worth anything okay it's worth 12 cents I suppose I could I could sell that I get 12 and a half dollars for it theoretically that's a mark price I don't know what the bid ask is on that let's look Ten cents and fifteen cents. Yeah. So I'd be lucky if I could sell it for eleven cents, which would still give me eleven dollars. I guess minus a buck and a quarter. Uh, do they have earnings coming up on that? No, we had it back here. All right. I'll have to check into selling that thing. Alright, gold. Gold, gold, gold. Nothing going on with gold. Definitely in a downtrend. Google. There's nothing in here on this Wednesday thing that's going on. I find that kind of strange. But, as we can see here didn't have a very good day yesterday. I, I don't know, maybe people don't like the, their announcement. So maybe it will come down here and, and give us something here. Yeah, maybe it will. Okay, let's take a look at... Paid 30 and it's worth 27, and we paid 23 and now it's worth 24. Okay, that's going to be interesting. In theory, uh, they have their earnings on Thursday night and Friday morning. In theory, the short will be worth practically nothing. Of course, it depends on where the price goes, too, about whether or not this uh, put is going to be worth anything. So we'll see how that works out. IWM. Take this off of here. I know which way it's going. Okay, it looks like it may give us 
Well, are we in a downtrend or an uptrend now? Now we don't know. This target is not valid anymore. Not valid anymore. Just because we have changing moving averages here. LinkedIn. Uh, let's see, LinkedIn. Okay. Gave us, uh, it was on our list yesterday. I didn't get a chance to look at it later in the afternoon. We now have an alert on LinkedIn. Let's put it down here. So we're going to want to have price move in our direction for our final confirmation. MasterCard. MasterCard is coming up to meet our target. Just need a little bit more time on that. 3M. Um, not sure which way this thing is going, so we're going to stay away from it for right now. Netflix. Well, we know which way that's going. It's just not giving us an entry. It just continues to march down. What is going on? Some sort of competitor thing going on? And then we have this out here, which is probably not going to be good. So we would do like a put calendar on that, and we'll see how that works out. Uh, Priceline. Priceline pull back here a little bit. So here we have a flag pull and a flag. And it's coming up. And hopefully it will kiss the 80. Now we're up to the Q's. Almost done. The NASDAQ had a nice day yesterday. I guess you could say. I'm going to open up just a tad today. And it's coming up for our target. Might be a little bit earlier, early in the new um, trend here, but we'll see how that works out. Spiders, S&P 500, uh, nothing going on. Unable to determine any sort of direction here when price is hanging around a flat moving average. And we have some violations here in our rules. Tesla. Okay, Tesla is riding the moving average right now. And which way is it going to go? Wow, pretty crazy days here for Tesla. Pretty crazy days. And Visa. Alright, Visa is giving us a little bit of a flag price pattern here. Stochastic coming up to our target. Moving average coming down. Continues to stay down. That's all very good for Visa. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. It's going to be a nice day in central Ohio. Looking forward to the fresh, getting some fresh air today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And happy trading.